Hello everyone, my name is John. Today I will tell you how to set up integration to transfer new contacts from HubSpot to Key CRM. This is necessary to automatically transfer new contacts from HubSpot to other systems. For example, in Key CRM you can create new orders and conveniently interact with them in the future. Now let's move on to the setup. First you need to create a new connection. Next, select the data source system, HubSpot. Then select the action, Get Contacts, New. At this point you need to connect your HubSpot account to the Apex Drive system. In this window you must specify the login and password for your HubSpot personal account. If necessary, indicate the code that will be sent to your email. At this stage, we grant Apex Drive permission to work with your HubSpot account. After that, close the window and reload the page. When the connected login appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. There are no additional settings provided for the HubSpot system, so just click Continue. At this stage you can set up a data filter, in this case there is no need for this, so we also click continue. At this point, you see data for one of your HubSpot contacts. If you are satisfied with everything, click continue. At this point, the configuration of the HubSpot data source has been successfully completed, now you need to move on to setting up the data destination. Select the system, Key CRM. Then select the action, Create Order. At this stage you need to connect your Key CRM account to the Apex Drive system. In this window you need to specify the API key, to get it, go to your Key CRM personal account. Then go to Settings, General. Copy the API key and paste it into the appropriate field in the Apex Drive system. When the required field is filled in, click Continue. When the connected account appears in the list of active accounts, select it and click Continue. At this stage you see key CRM fields for creating new orders. You can assign variables from HubSpot to these fields to do this. Click in the field and select a variable from the drop-down list. Please note that you can use not only variables, but also enter values manually. When all the required fields are assigned, click Continue. At this point, you see an example of the data that will be sent to Key CRM in the form of new orders with each new contact from HubSpot. If you are not satisfied with something, click Edit and you will go back a step. In order to check the correctness of the settings, click Send Test Data to Key CRM. After successful submission, 
Go to Key CRM and check the result. If you are satisfied with everything, return to the Apex Drive service and continue setting up. At this point, setting up Key CRM as a data destination has been successfully completed. Now you need to enable auto update and select an update interval, for example, once every five minutes. That's all. I wish you successful integration settings and good luck.